um, and I think there's over 200 of us here, so this is more than we could imagine, I know. So we just thank you all for showing up this early. We thank God that the weather's not 105 already. It might be by the... Uh, Crane House is an alternative sentencing program for nonviolent felons. They're all females and they live there with their children. Uh, we're in the midst of an expansion from being able to serve nine women basically for over the course of the last 30 plus years to go to a building that's at 61st and Michigan Road that will allow us to, to uh, serve 40 additional women uh, out of that facility. So. We certainly feel blessed. We've got a long road to go. We've got a lot of money to raise and things like that, but this certainly helps. So we really, really appreciate it. Thanks. And now I'm going to let Matt with Episcopal Health Ministry say a couple of words. He's been delivering water. <laughs> I'm Thank you, Matt. Oh, you're welcome, yeah. I've just driven the course, and I did not think it seemed short. I thought it seemed a long way to go. So you guys are, that are runners may think it's short. Uh, I know that we have several of our volunteer nurses with National Episcopal Health Ministries running. So I would just encourage you that uh, as it gets hotter, if you're running along and someone keels over next to you, please stop and help them instead of trying to get your personal best. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Glad to be a part of this, and thanks so much. You've noticed some people wearing purple armbands. And Catherine Lillibridge is going to um, explain that to us. Good morning, everyone. Um, well, thank you to the Episcopal Church women and the National Episcopal Health Ministries for having the idea to get us up and exercising this morning. My name is Catherine Lillibridge, and I am an Episcopal uh, Church woman. I'm from the Diocese of West Texas, and I am a bishop's spouse. Today we are celebrating the life of Mary Ellen Smith, and that's why I have this written down so I can get through it. Um, Mary Ellen died in March. She was a dear, dear friend of many of us. She was the bishop spouse of Southwest Florida. She loved the outdoors, and we spouses that walked with her, many a gathering, know that she would have loved to have been here today and that she is with us today in our hearts on this three-mile journey we're about to take. The money raised will go to Crane House, and having the purple armbands honoring Mary Ellen helped motivate a lot of us to get out of bed this morning. So, the, thank you, Mary Ellen. Uh, thank you for being here to celebrate Mary Ellen's life and for raising money and awareness for the Crane House. Enjoy your time. So, we're going to have an opening prayer, and it's going to be by Dabney Smith. I don't know that I'm going to be able to actually do that. Um, I want to just thank you for being here and um, let you know that it was one year ago today that uh, Mary Ellen first told me of any symptoms that she was experiencing. And um, I'm glad to be with you, and it's very difficult also. Gary, would you? Gary Lillybridge from West Texas, that Dabney just wanted me standing here say the prayer if he couldn't do it. But I will say that uh, I think what Mary Ellen might be doing right now is looking down on us and saying, I'm glad to see my friends together. So she brought us together today, because I certainly wouldn't be here without her uh, memory. So thank you, Mary Ellen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for... Uh, this general convention for this church and for the individuals that are in it. We thank you for uh, the ministries that we will honor and celebrate uh, today and for these sponsors. We particularly lift up to you uh, Mary Ellen, Dabney, and their family. Bless them, bless Dabney and his family as they continue to remember and celebrate uh, Mary Ellen's life with us. We ask your blessing upon us today so that we may have an enjoyable and healthy time and that all of our work begun, continued, and ended in you. We may glorify your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We're ready. 
Now, normally you would just have somebody say, ready, set, go, something along those lines. But in Indianapolis, we say, start your engines. So runners, uh, feel free to take off and everybody else, enjoy the course. Oh, get to the start line first. I guess there's an actual start line that I was aware of. Sorry. Watch me now. Watch me now. Start your engines! Oh, excuse me! <laughs> no problem. All right, let's get out of the way. Now we gotta get the next group. We're gonna get out of the way. Go, go, go! Hey, slow, stop, ready? Thank you for the break. Ready? Thank <laughs> you. 